Hey golf fans, I wish you all a happy new year and I hope 2023 is a happy and healthy one for you all. So our first round of 2023 is going to be Alan Eastwood's El Laurel Bosque GC. I do hope I pronounced that properly. Let's take a look at the course details. This is Alan's first design on PGA Tour 2K23. So fairways and greens are firm, green speeds are medium fast, the weather is overcast and the time of day is afternoon. Let's check out the tee options. There are three tee options. We will be swinging from the white tees, which are playing 7,491 yards. And as always, pin set number one. As always, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. If you are new, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. So superb looking open and hole. Definitely has a Mediterranean look and feel to it. We've got 14 mile per hour wind, so I'm going to have to try and take this down the right hand side and allow that wind to take us back. Fantastic opening strike, long may that continue. But knowing Alan, I'm expecting a tough course here. He does like to defend par on his courses, and nine times out of ten, they're very strategic. Certainly what will be on the right hand side of this flag stick, so hopefully this kicks on from the fairway. Wind's going to sweep us from right to left. Oh, it's a fast and a pull. And sadly for me, I've probably left myself in a really difficult position here. The only saving grace is I think the green is going to be uphill so we can fully attack this chip shot. So let's see if we can chip this one close and walk away with a par here. Good execution. Checked up beautifully for me. And that is going to set up a good par opportunity from five feet out. Green speeds are 147. But solid start to the round after that poor approach shot. But hole number two, it's a stunning par three. It looks absolutely sublime. I love the waterwork. Certainly don't want to be left or long in this green. Trouble all around us here. Bunker short right as well. I think 9-iron with a little bit of backspin should be good. Playing the wind here. This wind should hold us up and move us from left to right. Really need a good strike. I get a perfect. This ball is tracking well. And what an aerial shot of this stunning par 3. Surely this kicks out. That ball sat down immediately. So it is going to leave me an uphill putt from 9 feet out. This ball will shift from right to left. Going to play this pretty firm. That should turn. It does turn, and that is a fantastic birdie. And with that, we move to one under par. I've got a feeling these high winds are going to make an already solid course play extremely tough. This is a very narrow fairway. I'm going to apply a little bit of draw against the wind here. Take this down the left-hand side of the fairway. And hopefully find the fairway. It's a good strike. Wow, that ball shot pretty hard right, right off the bat there. And with that... I am going to find the heavy rough, and this has trouble written all over it. Not the worst of lies, to be fair, and that's a pitch shot. I certainly won't be pitching it. Just in between clubs here, I think the pitching wedge with full backspin, playing for the backstop at the back of the green here, and see if we can get the ball coming back down. It's a decent strike. Surely this does kick back and down towards the pin. Is it going to hang there? No way. I can't believe that stayed up there. Another inch and that ball would have found the dance floor. But let's see if we can chip this one in or at the very least get it close. That should turn. It did turn but just aim far too left there and that ball's actually ran on a fair bit. Fortunately it's a pretty straightforward uphill putt for the par save. It's a good up and down. It will keep me at one under par. Hole number four is going to be a par five. Strong wind advantage off the tee here. But really have to find this fairway. I think it's going to kick from right to left. So let's take it down the center of the fairway. It's another lovely strike. I fully expect this ball to kick over to the left hand side. It's done exactly that. But it's going to leave me a fairly short approach shot in with the wind behind me. Four iron with the elevation and the one behind me should be good. I expect this just to land at the front of the green and hopefully kick up onto the dance floor. It's a really good strike, but once again, 
the ball moving far more to the right than I allowed for. The yardage was bang on as well. I'm sure that slope at my feet only showed as green, but it must have been more severe than what it suggested. And this is a delicate chip. Hopefully I can get this one close and walk away with her second birdie. Get in. Oh, good effort. Gave it a chance. Once again, it has run on a fair few feet. And I have seen these missed in the past. Seven foot. Turning from left to right. Played it firm. Right into the heart of the cup. And I do pick up my second birdie off the round. But really enjoying the layout of the course. Certainly has a, a Spanish or should I say Mediterranean feel and look about it. I do know from speaking to Alan, the designer, that he has experienced a lot of sculpting issues on the PlayStation 4 in the designer. And that's why this course has taken so long to publish on PGA Tour 2K23. But like I said, this is his first design on the new game. And I'm certainly looking forward to what he does next. But fantastic tee shot. Taking advantage of the win while we do have it behind us here. And let's see if I can pitch this one close. Sam Wedge with full backspin should be good. Playing the wind in the slope and the green. It's a decent execution. Hopefully this sits down and spins back for me. Almost hitting the flag stick there. It did check up. It's going to be an awkward putt though. 11 feet out. But these are the kind of putts you are going to have to convert on this course to score well. Now that should turn, it's looking good. Oh, it burnt the left-hand side off the cup. I probably hit that far too far. It did have a slight downhill slope to it though. But it's a solid par, putt coming back up the hill. And I will remain at two under. Disappointed with that birdie putt. But hole number six, this is another tough par three. Very tight greens, and when he's swirling wins, this is going to be a very difficult shot. Bunkers and play either side. I'm going to try and fade this against the wind and play for the left-hand side of the pin. Big shot coming up here. It's a really good execution. Ah, that pull left. That ball didn't fade back towards the hole as much as I expected it to. That's probably all down to the, the swing line there. I did pull it. So let's see if we can chip this one in once again. Going to be aggressive here. It is uphill. Just missed on the left-hand side. Good attempt. It's going to leave me a straightforward par putt. Wow, that ball really broke hard right there. I've got no idea what happened. Almost missed that putt. So I do remain at two under through six holes. This is a drivable par four. Even with this wind hurting me, I still believe I can overpower this and get it kicking up from the fairway. Tough shot, though. I've executed that superb 105% power, and this ball is going to kick up. It's probably going to leave me an awkward uphill putt, but it is a good eagle opportunity. 55 feet out, 2 feet up, breaking mainly from right to left. It does start to turn back on itself the last few feet. Just try to get the weight here. I've got the weight. Now this does have a chance. That should turn. Oh, it turned back a little bit too early. But it's a solid birdie. It's the third birdie of the round and I do move to three under par. Hole number eight. 560 yard par five. Just going to fully deal off driver here. Play for the center off the fairway. And that will leave me an elevated approach shot into the green. Swinging well so far. Tiny fast there, but did a life for it. And that is a monster drive. 342 yards. Okay. Leaves me 227 yards out. 30 feet uphill. 15 mile per hour crosswind. I need to land this at the front of the green. Just applying a little bit of D loft. Playing for the front of the green. Try to run this up the slope. It's a lovely strike. The wind's starting to turn it as well. This should work out really, really well. There's the kick. And is it going to hold the back left of the green? It does. Pin high almost. And that is going to set up another eagle opportunity. Surely we can convert this one and get to five under par. There's a fair amount of turn to it. 
I've really underread that. That's not even close. The flat stick has been really, really cold so far this round. It's going to be a gimme birdie, which I do convert. But really disappointed with uh, two of my putts so far. It keeps me at four under. And I move on to hole and number nine. Dog leg right, elevated tee shot. Let's take this down the left-hand side. The 17 mile per hour wind's really going to hold me up and move me from left to right. It's another perfect. I am getting better at overpowering my tee shots, guys. I'm sure you have noticed my rhythm when I am doing it. It's getting better with every round. Oh, this is such a tough green. The flag sticks the meat in the sandwich here between the two bunkers, so I'm going to have to aim out way left. Slope at my feet's going to move me hard right as well. Big shot coming up here. It's a tiny fast. That wind's not moving me, by the way. Wow, that wind and slope hardly move me. You could argue that slight fast and a little bit of a pull on my swing contributed to that not coming back round. I just need to get this over the bunker and let it run out onto the green. Hopefully that checks up. Fantastic recovery shot from the bunker. But still to this day, I'm really finding the wind very inconsistent. Solid par though, after that approach shot. Solid front nine, four under par. Should have been better. Disappointed with the eagle and the birdie putt we missed. But hole number 10, this time the wind is in my face. I think five iron with a little bit of deal loft and a lot of top spin. This should land short of the green and comfortably kick up onto the dance floor. Nice, it's another perfect. This is tracking well. It should bounce right once it lands. It's a fantastic approach shot. Sit down now. Really, really happy with that tee shot. That ball has really ran on for me though. I actually didn't need the top spin. Just caught that slope. But it's an uphill putt. 23 feet. Turning from right to left. Certainly got the weight. Have we got the read? That should turn. It does turn. Our best putt of the round so far. And I do move to five under par. So hole number 11. This is going to be a long par four due to the wind. It looks like it's going to be a tough tee shot. Is there any shortcuts? No. It's all tree line. And that line if sight is obscured by the trees. So taking this down the right hand side with a little bit of draw, try to turn this into the, the centre of the fairway. Swinging well so far. Still going to have a lot of work to do here with this prevailing wind. But this is such a good course to play. And for Alan's first course on PGA Tour 2K23, it is a cracker. He is an experienced designer. Let's see if we can run this up the slope, defending the pin. Just going to fade this against the wind. Try to land this on that uphill slope and let it run up towards the pin. It's another really good strike. This is tracking well. This should get an aggressive bounce. Sit down now. Sit down. What a fantastic approach shot, guys. And if you haven't already done so, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. You're seeing some fantastic approach shots today. Hopefully... I can convert this putt for the birdie. It's another testing putt. I should turn. How on earth that not dropped? Wow, I cannot believe how poorly or how unlucky I'm being on the greens here. I thought I read that well. Perfect execution as well. Somehow I'm still six under. But how beautiful are these par threes? Very picturesque. Anything to the right-hand side's dead in the water, but sadly, with the winds, I'm going to have to aim out there. Just going to deal off this 9-iron with a little bit of topspin. Play for the centre off the green. Oh, that's a fast on a pool. It's probably going to find the bunker unless we get a member's bounce. We have done. Oh, this is going to work out well. It's going to leave me an uphill pat, but why? certainly did not play for that. Real members bounce. Let's see if we can take advantage of that favourable kick. Very lucky kick. It should turn hard in the last few feet. Should start to turn. Oh, probably just a little bit firm. And maybe took a little bit of a turn out of that. My putter is really, really cold so far. 
Par's probably a fair score there after that tee shot. But hole number 13, once again, crosswind here. Playing the wind, hoping to find the left hand centre off the fairway. It's almost a laser beam perfect. But these crosswinds really making approach shots into the greens very difficult. Anything left here should work out, so I'm going to play for the kick left of the green. Just going to draw this combined with the wind, because I'm really in between yardage here. So just try to take a little bit off the 8 iron. Slope at my feet should tip me right. It has done. Oh, this is turning a little bit more than I allowed for. Beautiful strike to. And it does stay. My goodness. You're talking inches here. Not the toughest of chip shots, though. Let's see if we can get it close. Or go one better and put it in. Now, that should turn. It has turned. And that is a fantastic chip shot. Really disappointed with the approach shot, though. I thought I executed it superbly. But I do pick up my second birdie for the back nine and move to six under par. On another day, we could be a few shots better off. But my putter's certainly cold. Let's draw this against the wind. Once again, just to take off yardage here. Playing for the left centre. Off the fairway. But it really is a picturesque golf course. I would imagine going by the name. It's located somewhere in Spain. I've got no information regarding the course. I just know that Alan Eastwood designed it. And like I say, in my opinion, one of the better designers out there. Takes his time. Really polishes his work. And this is what you get. A beautiful outcome. It's a little bit fast, but that wind should... Oh, it's long. That is so, so long, despite the full backspin. Cannot believe that ball carried that far. It's another awkward chip. This could easily run away from me here. Ah, play that a little bit safe. It's going to come up short, right? And hopefully I can convert this for the par save. Really safe chip there. It's a solid par. It's going to keep me at 6 under. Hole number 15. Elevated tee shot here into the fairway. But with this wind behind me, we should do a lot of damage on the yardage. It's another perfect 106% power. Wow, that ball is flying. This is actually going to be a short approach shot into this green. 16 mile per hour wind with me. 196 up 7 feet. 7 iron. Should be good. Playing for the kick. Just short of the green. Try to kick this up from the fairway once again. It's a tiny slope. Oh, I'm going to miss my intended landing zone. It is going to get me up there for eagle. Really needed the perfect there for that to be a better outcome. And wow. That ball is almost running off the green. In fact, it is, is it? It does run off the green. So as you can see, these greens are no joke. This is a delicate chip shot. Just got to land this short right of the pin. And let the green bring it back towards the cup. Full back's been applied. Good execution. It's going to be a gimme birdie. I do get to seven under par, a more respectable score, because we are playing well here. Just on the greens. So it's back-to-back -back par fives, this time 574 yards. This ball is going to kick hard right down the fairway. I was just looking to see if there was another option there over the trees, but there's not. So drawing this against the wind. Try to find the centre off the fairway. I am going to have an awkward lie at my feet for the approach shot. It's another perfect. Now this ball's going to kick hard right and down towards the green in the river. This is going to leave me a really awkward lie at my feet. Ball's going to shoot hard right. Three wood's perfect. So let's apply a good bit of draw. Playing the wind and the slope. This is a very aggressive shot here. Oh, it's a laser beam perfect. Oh, wow. That ball just shot hard right. As soon as it left the club face. That draw didn't even take it back. 
And that is going to leave me an awkward shot. I'm probably best flopping this. It's not the best of lies. I think I can fully attack this with full backspin. This ball should land short of the pin and hopefully release out due to the, the lie at my feet. Superb execution. It's released out. And that is a fantastic flop shot. It's going to guarantee a birdie. I do move to 8 under. And I move on to hole number 17. It's a short par 4, but with this wind, 19 mile per hour, this is going to be tough. I am going to fade it. Play way down the right hand side. The fairway is going to kick from right to left. It's a tiny fast. It's a fantastic tee shot. I've been really happy with how I've played from the tee box today. My driving really has been good. I don't think we've missed a fairway. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of D-loft. Certainly what will be on the left-hand side of the green. The slope and the wind is going to ensure that. Unless I hit a huge slope. It's a tiny fast, but I did push my swing line slightly right. This should sit down pretty quickly. It's going to be a tough putt. But anything right of that pin was dead. Would have probably worked its way back off the green. Oh, this is a tough putt. And the way I've been putting today, this has got next to no chance of dropping. Stay high. Stay high. It's going to miss on the low side. Good attempt, to be fair. It was one of those putts. The more left I went, the harder right it was going to break. So I do remain at eight under. We are going to step on to the, the final tee box of this fantastic golf course. Really enjoyed this one. Like I say, it's Alan's first design on PGA Tour 2K23. And he's clearly done his homework on the game. With how certain aspects and course environments influence how the course plays. I'm really in between clubs here. Let's come down to gap wedge, a little bit of top spin, a little bit of deal off, play the kick from the fairway, and hopefully set up a birdie putt. It's another perfect. Now this should comfortably kick up. Oh, it kicked hard right. And that is just going to work away from the green. It's probably going to run off. So these greens, albeit very challenging, they are fair as well. Some of these pins are tough to get close to, especially in this wind conditions. That's got a chance now. Go on, get in, get in. Sadly, I couldn't chip that in for the birdie. But we are going to finish with a par. That is a solid round on a very good course. Really enjoyed that one. Please make sure to get out there and play it. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.